Man, the myth, the legend is definitely in the studio with me. I mean, Fioki back to back to back like that. It's no joke. You welcome to the show again. How you doing? Thank you so much for having me, bro. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Honestly, bro, I love. I, I do. How do I sound like you? I like. Uh, I love your accents, man. Ah, uh, bro, na, bro, na Lamba. <laughs> bro, I like them. I love this Lamba. Sweet. Bro, na Lamba, I very appreciate we don't you. Don't talk man. too much about. Bro, na so the TD before this, before this economy, you don't go chop it back here. Are you joking? <laughs> you welcome, bro. It's been Thank a minute. You, yeah it's been a huge minute. What, what, what have you been up to bro i've been on the street in fact i did got to save the the hustle <laughs> <laughs> Last year, I think I was on the street, but this year, as the economy, they rough everybody. They got a, it's been an amazing journey so far. Uh, I just dropped an album three weeks ago called Beyond the Guitarist. Hmm. You know, that's yeah. the only guitarist we should be able to tell you, ah, what's that? Beyond the Guitarist. So, you, do, you, do you mean that there are so many other personalities we don't know about you? So, that's why I said Beyond the Guitarist. I'm a guitarist, a, a, a artist, producer, music arranger, music director wow yeah, that's so a lot actually i'm telling you that's a that, that's a major one how do you how do you combine all of this uh put together yes i started with music, uh, music from early late 80s yes from so far wow. that was a long time yes uh, 88 i started singing so far to joining choir singing classics going to competitions with vocals without even playing instruments yet then i started playing instruments then i started directing live recording arranging what bass to player should play the horns men should play keyboard should play drummer should play that's music directing then arrangement is arranging their lines their horn session the occupation everything mm. and vocal arrangement what soprano also tenor should sing so i know all these things very well but i decided to push guitar first so that people should be able to put it so nigeria don't like confusion yeah, yeah. <laughs> i know it can, it, it can be it can be very funny to a lot of nigerians i yeah. guess what yeah because a lot of people are not so well informed yeah. about being a, uh, a, 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 a guitarist yeah. and you know being a producer and all of this sometimes yeah. they feel like you're just guitar that guy is playing uh -huh. but how how do you infuse your instrument into music the amazing thing is that when you sense that they only listen to some songs you only hear the guitar and you remove the guitar out you, you realize how empty that song is hmm. guitar like i say i'm the spice and uh, color of afrobeats so all the songs that you've been hearing the guitar on if you heard them when there was no guitar you appreciate this guitar more hmm. because i color the songs add spice to the songs i, I know what to play on each songs i know when to to sleep and rest allow the song to flow and breathe i know what to do when it gets to the chorus play some signature tone when you're listening to the melody of the song or chorus the hook there's a particular melody that is playing that is attracting you so that's, that's what my guitar does i like that honestly mm -hmm. and you know in, in in the world of music lately when everybody now realizes how financial or how financially lucrative the business is people will ask this question that how 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 well does it pay to be a guitarist I keep saying that instrumentalists in this in this part of the world, the industry was created not to favor them. Hmm. Yeah, because you, if you, if you check it out, most of, most of the people that are enjoying more uh, more are the maybe the producers and the artists. The hmm. instrumentalists are actually the the ones struggling in the industry because the system was not structured to favor them. Hmm. So, what did you do that was different? That's a very good question. What I was able to do is. I have to learn the music business side of you understand know, in, in the industry music side business side of the music is very important apart from your craft know what you're doing in your craft then the business side you have to back it up if not you're going to be floating people will just be seeing you around everybody feeling thinking that it's going well with you meanwhile you're just being in the face of the people but it doesn't reflect in your account hmm. <laughs> so, and, and that's crazy ah say it's popular <laughs> fame and without, uh, without fortune, fortune is just waste of energy it can be depressing so i didn't want to be in that situation i had to make sure that i work smarter than the system of course yeah i so like that, that yeah so that's why i see i didn't want to limit myself to just being a guitarist i became a producer added other personalities to my brand then I started recording these songs for artists not just playing on i worked with the bands for four years as a guitar player while was i was working with the band for four years i was recording in the studio hmm. so analog performance that stage live performance 
digital recording for every artist but on stage was just the band four years then i switched to flavor 2014 and i worked with flavor for eight years that's 12 years playing on stage for artists in the midst of this i was working with simi simi solar album the whole simi solar album i did yeah. all the guitars joe remy who loved don't care smile for me did okay adekule gold first major hit oriente pick up to gold album i did all that got the virality album but ranky so i was able to to dominate the whole industry the the, the era of 2010 and 20 to 2020 i was on all the songs 70 percent of alphabet his song but i didn't i always ask myself what's next aside featuring them hmm. the first major song was a uh, independence woman featuring jumabi the second one was the the one with ricardo baz and tiwa so that one actually uh, transits me from just being a guitarist to the mainstream industry as an artist yeah yeah uh, so from there i took it off from there started featuring simi and oxlade for connie connie also with uh, tenny you get the nana did follow you with chicky and jackie before i dropped the album on my 40th birthday called man <laughs> and the reason why i said man was because i sat i understood i i know how the system works so i think i'm man enough to drop this project of course uh <laughs> you you put out hits yeah you've been you know you've been the bedrock a lot of a lot of major hits that I we swear, know swear. Uh, bro and we know i mean there's something about that your signature tune oh my god oh my so god if you allow them make them sound this thing make this now. <laughs> yeah i know i mean yeah. <laughs> but oh honestly you've done a lot you've yeah. really really done a lot and to be honest looking at your track list and the people on it I see that you were also able to put people on. Yeah, okay. so able, I mean, and it's so really many. nice. So I mean, I funny enough, you know, when you have like the way artists see their fellow artists as ah, rival. Mm. If I give this one chance, then you can't chase me. Come on for the no, no, no. That mentality, I don't have it. So if the white guys had that mentality, wouldn't be having books to read. Hmm. You understand? Know, some books, some guitar books that they send, they sell it because they are trying to share ideas. They want everybody to grow. So. I feel like I needed to do that too. You see, Sikak plays for Rema, right? Mm. Uh, Rema's guitar is. He was, he was, he was. He used to come to me as a 2011. Why picks that place at uh, so many clubs now? He's playing, playing at this place at Lekki. He's doing well. That Mastercraft took him to me to 2009. I started from with that guy from scratch, and he's doing very well. Then I had to introduce them to the publishing, the business side of the music, so that they themselves can grow as well. And it doesn't stop me from growing because I am unique. Mm. No matter how good you are, you can, can never be like Fioki. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I swear, I'm different. For real. Yeah. I like that. I mean, I remember one time you told me on the show that when you play guitar, you are saying something. Yeah, there are hidden vocals behind my guitar. If you listen to my guitar, you always assume that I'm playing to a song. Sometimes it might not be a song because I actually assume that I'm singing. Hmm. Guitar, I see guitar as microphone. While other, I see guitar as instrument. Once oh, like. I hold guitar, I'm already having the, 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 I'm imagining holding a microphone with my hand. So when I play, I assume that I'm singing. So my melodies are structured, are composed in a way that you can easily sing along. If you listen to all the like Gobe, Oju, Scapegoat, Did You Care, hmm. all these songs, you hear all these melodies. Apart from the songs, the guitars are always there to remind you, ah, this song is sweet. You can sing along. Like, uh, I know that you're feeling me from my way. Mm-hmm. Nobody wear no fit to me. Can you remember this line? Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's, real. Real. that's me. That's real, actually. I'm telling but, you. But this man, you don't, you, ah, ah, you, mean, you know how many songs? Oh, more. <laughs> bloody say for my Whoa. lady, you. That is major. So many songs. I like. I mean, honestly, I I like it. And just to you know, just to toot your horn just a little bit more again. Now you're singing yourself. Omo, so I rough amo. So, at what point while you're working on this project did you say, you know what? I think I'll just do some parts myself. You no, know, you know, you know, it's not easy to. <clears throat> this the step I took it was a very bold step. A guitarist mm. featuring artist. You understand? Know, so because i had the influence not, not just as a guitarist people see me as a guitarist outside but inside the studio i'm beyond a guitarist i direct i co-produce some of these songs with dj kublon and my production partner then then we're still working together so i said how many times how many years are you going to be chasing artists for them to come on and sing on your project because if i want to release a song I, what like uh, dj khalid is doing bringing mm. different artists you just want to hear with the best music yeah yes yeah, you don't finish you then the, he owns the masters then the artists sing in my own case i can actually play as well as a guitarist 
but artists sometimes are they are very reluctant because because they are looking for a hit song so do you expect them to bring that hit song they are looking and, for and, and just it's you. very easy now so for you to even for the artist to even listen to you means that you must have created some com- level of value for them to even say ah this feel like deserve and make her give her this song but at some point it will be frustrating now because you'll be chasing chasing i say okay you know what for me to make it easier for them to actually still want to feature if i sing verse one do the chorus they can easily come in on verse two and they just do 16 bars instead of singing the whole song for me so before then let me sing the whole song so mm. that they can see that it's already with or without them well, i'm going to sing this you know <laughs> but if i come to you for 16 bars it to be easier for you mm. that's why i started, started singing and before people are people say ah so if they use guitar they deceive us sis <laughs> eh? even get voice join why they deceive us oh yeah they drop them and i had to drop a eh, have you seen a fine girl yeah, today? today after that no way no way say, ha, two songs na bangao an Android album they not get got to listen to the album they don't ah fioki hmm. you can't do it now everybody's banging to my new album guys of course hmm. we've been banging to here as well I'm honestly you, and it's, that's i'm here it's, it's a well-rounded <laughs> project it's, it's a well-rounded project and I, I think i think i have to give you that i mean we weren't expecting anything less by the way we know you we know what if you, i even want to blood. do anything I'm, i don't i don't joke i don't do jokes i like that i like, do good music i love that and mm. you know i mean you 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 put out major hits you've worked with john drill on this album yeah you work with spyro you work with rebecca cameo as well yeah. so for everybody that you work with what did you look out for in them i'm a music person i'm very good at, with air and r too artists and repertoire so if i create a sound before i finish i already have a picture of how the sound would look like and which artists can fit into the song i don't really care about how big the artist is i, I care about the execution the delivery and the out- output and outcome the music is going to come out so i that no way remix i think january was worked well quite fit for it because it's a very classy song i needed that flexibility from johnny drew and he killed it. you know what we did he said Fioki, send, send me the stems dry mm. stems and dry vocals so i had to send it to him he had to rearrange it and mix that song he's very good at mixing songs so so he sent when he sent it back to me i was left playing with fire 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, the guy yeah. hey, i heard something good i was like now nah, this is how remix should sound like and everybody's lo- loving it's still loving it already of course uh, you you yeah. get to perform one of your songs for us today on the show i'm here with my agenda uh, yeah exactly I will yeah. Give yeah. <laughs> you get to perform one of the songs for us today yeah. but honestly i mean ju- judging by the time you spent in the industry judging by the effort you've put in i mean was it always easy to work with people it's, life has never been easy nothing comes easy nothing in this life but it's always the, the, your approach to to things that matters a lot sometimes might be stressful but you know that's life for you at the end of the day came out with victory yes and so everybody came out and supported me on this project and i appreciate them okay mm. i like that so as it stands mm. right now the album's doing well i know it's, i know it's going to be far to ask you for another project anytime soon but what does the future hold for you just keep expecting surprises from Fioki. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I always it. take people on our way <laughs> like you guys didn't see this me singing coming you guys and mm-hmm. I, I don't like making noise i always like to bring out things and you guys see it by yourselves fair mm. enough fair enough mm. you're one person who has managed to stay out of drama i don't know how you do it but why the only thing i owe you guys is music on social media <laughs> every other thing happens behind the scene <laughs> do you get like you have i don't know i don't know if it's intentional i don't know but you have successfully managed to keep Just your head low for 16 years yeah when you came into in the street through star quest to to kenny's music to the bands to flavor to working with every artist I always like to mind my business, but no carry trouble will come my side. I know I go chase them. You know it's <laughs> <a> <laughs> black like carry trouble come with you. I black like carry trouble because I want to pick you your thoughts. You said go wrong from no, the trouble. No, I, 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 I want to pick your thoughts on something. Okay, yeah. I want to pick. This is not music related. Yeah, this yeah. is just we digressing. Mm-hmm. You know, I understand there's a lot going on in the country right, right now. I mean, it should even be a conversation. Mm. But what do you think about this whole very dark man but risky issue? They're already in course to say we're waiting for their <laughs> feedback. <laughs> 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 you see you want to take answer the question <laughs> <laughs> we wait for feedback okay then yeah. we're definitely waiting for them honestly yeah. I, you know, I feel like we have bigger issues to deal mm. with in the country but mm. it's, it's, it's just it's just really really weird now while you were working on this uh, on this album bag you know beyond beyond a lot of things what was like your you know what was like your darkest hour while working on it the 
fact that I was staying awake till 10 a.m. in the morning. There's some part that I needed to achieve some kind of vocal delivery, some kind of mood I was looking for. I didn't get it. I'll scrap it and go back here and sing it until I finish that project before I shut down this project. Until mm-hmm. I finish this song before I shut down the project. So sometimes I'll find myself till 10 a.m. in the morning hmm. working on that project until I'm done. I will not say, okay, I'm good to go. Some uh, ah, I was stressed. I had to go and check my BP, it was slow. <laughs> I said, okay, it's fine. Then I started sleeping after recording everything. So, oh, wow. Um, so, I mean, this actually gave you sleepless nights. I couldn't sleep for three weeks because I needed to work on my project. I needed everything to be nice. The production, chemistry with the vocals and the beats, the guitar, chemistry, playing the bass, trying to look at the kind of mood, kind of the, tar- the target audience you get. You need to make sure that you feed every audience both the old the middle and young the old one so and uh, this genre of music i needed to approach to i needed to balance the afrobeat because afrobeat texture i needed to make sure that i retain it and still tap into the international audience global sound so i, I was able to balance it it's the song for east africa for mm. america for everybody yeah so i noticed that you had to you know work with those people there you yeah. had to pre- so how would you describe the sound that you make I just make like Afrobeat, 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 with a with an element of global sound in s- it and uh, texture in it. Okay, yeah, I, I like mm. I like that honestly mm. because you know with what you've accomplished in the industry. Now, do you feel like a lot of instrumentalists are not rewarded enough in terms of awards? Not now, not money. They've they've never been a category for that first. <laughs> and don't you and, and do you think that, I've always you, been saying do that? Do you think that's wrong? It's very wrong because when you say a song like if i mention songs now gobe would you lie scapegoat hmm. did you care smile from don't love don't care you will see Simisola album won award right 20, yeah. 2016 the best album but do you know that i played like 70 percent role in that album i what went to if only the producer what happened hmm. to me you know what? let me give you guys you never heard this before I never had studio experience with Simi throughout the Simi Solo album. Wow. Except for No Forget You with, with Adi Ad- 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 and Thief, which was our first single ever because we did that Me- together. And that was a hit. Yeah. That was the first single ever for Simi. So we in studio together. After then, Oscar, what Oscar did, they would do, and they would just do the skeletal part of the this thing. I call it demo. Yeah. They will now send it to me. I will now be the one to sit down and create the melody, the redeem direction that will fit into the song hmm. and send it to the even the, love don't care will be where you come from i was the one that played that bass doom, 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 doom. Hmm. i played more than that's how i said i'm more than a guitarist in the studio i always take guitar as credit so now when the award goes to these people i was left behind i didn't feel bad hmm. i just needed to just work to prove to these people that i am beyond what you guys see that's why i came up with this album beyond a guitarist yeah now i'm getting my flowers yeah if they don't give it to you give you it give yourself <laughs> brother it <laughs> bro I'm, I'm still here i like that yeah. honestly and I, I love that you are a mentor to a lot of people and this move that you've made would definitely encourage a lot of people that work in the shadows that feel they will never get their flowers mm-hmm. because i feel like there are a lot of people in the, in the industry that genuinely feels like they're not getting their flowers they are depressed safe hmm. Because some, it can be so painful that you, you give your soul, your heart, you bring, put your mind to do something for people. Then when it, when the project comes out, not not single, act, no single acknowledgement, no even single credit. Sometimes they don't even get paid. Hmm. Let's grow together. Huh? I won't reach there. With all of us good job. <laughs> when they don't reach there, they, they go forget you. Become history. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I said, nah, that, that's real, man. That's real. <laughs> so if you would advise a lot of up and coming instrumentalists, you know, producers as well what would you tell them to do differently don't try to sound like anybody you can actually learn by listening to people but create your own sound from there hmm. the another thing is you t- thank god for uh internet now the our era we didn't have the opportunity of social media here so the exposure is there for everybody to actually read make sure that you know about uh, music business it's okay. very important okay yeah, i call I'm, it backhand <laughs> no, today. i like that honestly have you ever had your intellectual property stolen before 
I can always track it back. That's why I said no the music business. <laughs> <laughs> we'll so, just do some call, some research, so, background check. Exactly. We'll find the name of the of company, the person. the person from there. We'll track it before you know oh, this person will now call. Oh, God, what's happening now? Oh, yeah, so have you so, hand, so, on, so, so have you ever had anyone who almost cheated you or probably did? Almost cheated me all day. I've been cheated throughout the since I ever I've like been, who? I never mentioned their names. <laughs> <laughs> no, you for my mouth, you always say Beyonce now for me. So <laughs> <laughs> That's fun, man. I like that. I like that one. You know what's, you know what's going to happen right now is yeah. we want to have a feel. It's not every day we get the rare opportunity to actually have you not just in the studio, but mm. also perform live, live to the audience. Mm. I mean, a song that you own, a song that you created, a song that you gave a masterpiece mm. on. And of course, you get to give us that as well in person. On City One Zero Five One FM, your number one lifestyle station. Thank, Thank you, you so me. much. Appreciate Honestly, it's always a pleasure. This is per this is perfect. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the the, the song. I enjoyed the live version yeah, of yeah. it. Oh, and I, I did have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> had a good had a good chat. Thank you for coming. So on the pick show. one between Fine Girl to that No Way. Ah, it's gonna be <laughs> hard. Let's for the audience. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. I, I, it's gonna be very hard for me. Because okay? I love the both of them. Oh, well, I shit. love them. I love all the songs in the album. Nah, everybody go stream it be on the guitarist. Go get it on Apple, Spotify. It's, it's everywhere, right? Every all platform. The, and hold on a second. This No Way song. Who did you sing it for? Is it No Way? Song? <laughs> yeah, this No Way. Who did you Who did you sing it for? No, no. I, I, what? Who did I sing it for? Yeah, was there any all chick my, on your mind? Hey, was there all any my babe? female fans. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know that you were very, you were very passionate. I was just like, now. I was very passionate. My yeah. soul. Yeah. All right. All right, then, no problem. I know, I know, I know you are running, but I'm, I'm gonna so let you know. all run. my female fans, even to you, I can sing it for ah, her. Ah, okay, okay, I can <laughs> sing it for her. All right, then, that works. That actually works. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for giving us a good time. I mean, this is the part where you leave a word for you fans. Thank you for having me, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice one, man. <laughs> we gotta check out No Way again in a bit, but first, check this. City 1051 FM, the best radio station in the heart of Lagos. We run the city.